All right, here we have a radical rational expression where the numerator and the denominator both have two terms. Um, we're asked to simplify this, and the issue here is we cannot have uh, this radical or the square root in the denominator. So we're trying to take care of that issue right there. To do that, we are going to multiply this by 8 minus the square root of 6. 8 minus the square root of 6 is the conjugate of this denominator over here. Uh, and we're, using, we're going to multiply by that because of the, the great way those two will multiply together. All right. So when we multiply the um, denominators together, because we're multiplying straight across, um, we're going to employ this fact right here, a plus b times a minus b equals a squared minus b squared. So we get this awesome, when we FOIL these expressions, we get these middle terms that cancel out. And, uh, and long story short, two conjugates when you multiply end up being a, a really simple multiplication. We don't need to go through the FOILing steps. So what I get down here is uh, I'll get 64, which is 8 squared, minus 6. And 6 is the square root of 6 squared. And then I also need to FOIL the numerator. And in uh, foiling that numerator, I multiply the 5 by the 8 to get the 40, and the 5 by the negative uh, square root 6 to get negative 5 square root 6, and then uh, the square root of 6 times the 8 to get 8 square root 6, and the square root of 6 times negative square root of 6 to get negative 6 over here uh, on this side. And then, uh, last steps is I just need to simplify this expression. And I get 40 minus 6 to get 34. And then eight, negative 5 square root 6 plus 8 square root 6 is plus 3 square root 6. And then 64 minus 6 is 58. All right. And then we are done here. Uh, just one last note. We would look to simplify this as a rational expression if we could find a common factor uh, in the numerator and denominator. But for example, we can't cancel anything with this 58 and with this 34, even though we could divide them both by 2. Um, and it's because of the addition here in the numerator. Um, if we want to do any canceling, we have to factor the greatest common factor out of uh, the numerator and cancel something in there with the denominator.